Hi guys, we're down to our last guided project for the semester. Um, I know y'all are all jumping for joy. Um, this is PowerPoint Chapter 4, and really this is all about um, editing and manipulating pictures and images. Um, there's also vidding, edit, vidding, video editing um, and manipulation that you will do in, um, I believe, the review assignment and the individual project, but the guided project doesn't have the video in it. Um, the video stuff is pretty self-explanatory. It has the same um, configuration stuff. It's going to show up in your in your um, tab uh, to be able to do the manipulations that it's asking you to do. So um, I don't think y'all will have any problems with that. So let's get started. So this is a little bit different than just manipulating pictures. This is a photo album, and there is a entire um, dialog box um, that you can use to manipulate the photo album um, instead of changing every picture. Um, so we're going to be using that dialog box, and in that that dialog box is in um, the insert tab. You've got this photo album button here for images. If you click that down arrow and say edit photo album, it's going to bring up this dialog box. And now you can see all of the different images that are um, um, are there. Okay, so um, we are going to remove this first photo. So we're just going to click on photo number one and say remove. Um, and then for the new first photo, step three, in the photo album, which is this Tin Man, so you you need to, in order to be able to do any editing on these, you have to actually select the checkbox for the picture that you're wanting to edit. And once you do that, now you can see you have these options here to rotate, adjust your um, contrast, and adjust your brightness level. So instead of adjusting the brightness and contrast by a specific percentage, they're wanting you to adjust it using these buttons, which has a preset number to them. Um, so that's why the instructions will say increase it six times um, or decrease it or whatever else, because we're not doing an actual percentage. We're using these buttons. Um, so it says increase the brightness six times. So your little sunshines here, this is increase brightness and this is de decrease brightness. So I'm going to do this six times. Okay, and then I'm going to increase the contrast two times. So these are your contrast buttons up and down. So I'm going to increase it two times. Perfect. Now for the fourth photo in the album, so one, two, three, four. Now these one, two, three, and four down here, those are your slide numbers. Those are not your image numbers. These are your images here. So right now we have two images per slide. So that's why you only have, you only see four slides. Um, so we want the fourth image, one, two, three, four. So this one. And we want to increase the brightness twice and increase the contrast six times. Okay, then we are going to apply the simple frame, white frame shape style. So down here under album layout, you have your frame shape. And right now it's a rectangle, so basically you just have a rectangular frame around the pictures and all the pictures are rectangles. We're going to change that to simple frame right, white. And that's going to actually change all of the pictures to have the same frame. Instead of having to go in and change each picture manually, we do it in here and it does everything at one time for you. And then we're going to also edit the album so only one picture per page displays. So instead of two pictures, I want one picture. And then I'm going to say update. And it updates our album for us. Notice now we have the white frame. Our images are adjusted as we had requested it to. Um, and we have one picture per slide. Okay, step seven says to insert the downloaded image file um, as the background for slide one. So I'm going to click on slide one. 
and I'm going to go to design and I'm going to say format background and here I'm going to say picture or texture fill and I'm going to go to a file and find your directory that you've got all your stuff in as you know I have to dig fairly deep in mine and choose that image that they're wanting you to insert there we go so this is that actually that picture that we deleted from the photo album the first time um, in the second step then it's telling us that we want they want us to remove the title and the subtitle placeholders so basically they're wanting this background basically to be the title um, and we don't need to type anything else so we're going to actually remove these placeholders and you just do that simply by clicking on the edges and hitting the delete key um, sometimes you have to do it more than once there we go okay move to move slide two to the end of the slideshow and apply the paintbrush artistics effect to the photo so here's our slide two our tin man we've already kind of changed that picture a little bit so I'm going to take that one and I'm going to move it all the way down to the bottom and then on the picture itself I'm going to go to artistic effects and I'm going to hit the download and or the down arrow and I'm going to apply the paintbrush artistic effect so it keeps the contrast um, and the brightness the same it just makes it look like a paintbrush instead of a picture um, drew it okay click on slide 7 so that was the one right before it and on that picture we're going to sharpen 50% correction to the photo um, you can do this here in the format picture here so here's your picture corrections um, same with the other one or you can go to your picture tools here here's your corrections here here's your artistic effects that was on the the previous step so I can go to create corrections here and I want to apply sharpen 50% so that's where it is there and if you did it here it looks the same um, only it's only the one line instead of having the brightness and contrast as well so sharpen it by 50% and we're good there next we're going to apply the reveal transition to any slide so I'm going to go to transitions and I'm going to say reveal um, and I'm just going to do it on this slide that I'm already on which is slide 7 and set it to advance automatically after two seconds so advance I'm going to uncheck on mouse click and check after and make it two seconds and then I'm going to apply the transition to all slides so I'm going to click apply all so now we have the transition everywhere once you're done with that that's the end of this project um, pretty simple again it's just the manipulation of the pictures and videos to see what you can do with them um, I hope y'all learned a lot this semester I think many of y'all have um, I've really enjoyed it please let me know if you have any questions or if you need anything and um, good luck in the rest of your careers have a great day